every year. I look forward to seeing the beautiful cloud belts and ever-changing moons of our largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. This summer, we're gonna have some incredible opportunities to see this planet. And in today's video, we're gonna figure out exactly when and where you need to look to find it, and we're gonna set some reasonable expectations of what you can hope to see from it through your own telescope. Let's get started. To find Jupiter, let's start off by facing southeast around 10 p.m. on July 13th, which is Jupiter's closest approach to Earth this year. Jupiter is going to be the brightest star in this part of the sky, and as you can see, it's still pretty low to the horizon, especially for high magnification views with a telescope. So our options are to stay up later, which will allow Jupiter to rise higher in the sky, or we can wait until next month to do our observing. Let's explain this choice by looking at Jupiter's location in the sky from June through September at 10 p.m. In June at this time, Jupiter is below the horizon while July has it viewable but still low in the sky. However, by August and September at 10 p.m., we now have Jupiter high in the sky early in the night. So the question becomes, do you want to stay up late to view Jupiter in June and July, or does an early evening of observing work better in August and September? Now that we've figured out our options for finding Jupiter, let's take a look at what you can expect to see from it through your own telescope. Most of my best views of Jupiter using an 8-inch Dobsonian telescope have been between 100 and 200 times magnification. At this magnification, you will see the cloud belts wrapping around it, the great red spot making its way across its surface, and sometimes you may even notice its moons casting shadows down on its surface. If you've been able to find and observe Jupiter, please like this video and let me know about your experience in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your support and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.